If you've recently been arrested for trespassing, you've walked into oncoming traffic, or you've spun around in circles on a sidewalk for about an hour, you've probably been playing the new Pokemon Go game. What's going on guys, my name is Kaler and welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a Pokemon themed YouTube banner to match all the Pokemon hype out there right now, because that game is amazing. So this is a clean, nice little Pikachu banner. You can make it with any Pokemon you want. There's a little uh, custom brush back here using this, but I'm going to show you how to make that custom brush. So that's a bonus for the tutorial. This is going to be really quick, probably under 10 minutes. So let's get into it and I'll show you guys how to make this. So when you have your blank document open, I'm going to go ahead and paste in just a regular Pikachu picture from Google. This is a 3D Pikachu instead of like an anime style, which I think looks pretty good for this effect. And we're just going to put him down here in the bottom right corner, just kind of like he's like poking up to say hello at us. And let's put him right there. Move him over just a bit with my arrow keys and click OK. So what we need to do first is take off the white background from the Pikachu. So I'm going to turn off the background layer so we can actually see it. I'm going to grab my magic wand tool and I'm going to click and it's going to select the white. Next, go to select inverse and that's going to select Pikachu. And we're going to refine that by clicking select and mask and dragging the shift edge slider all the way over to negative 100%. That's gonna grab any of the like the white pixels that we missed and make sure that it looks nice and clean. I'm gonna hit Command J, and then I'm gonna turn off the original layer and let's just go ahead and delete it, why not? So that's looking pretty good. So now we have our cropped out Pikachu on our background. So let's begin creating the full lighting effects on the background and making it look all cool. So I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna double click on the background layer and go to color overlay. This is a nice lighter yellow, it's FFF700, so if you guys want to match exactly the tutorial, that's the color code. So click OK on that. I'm going to click this little arrow just because I don't want to see all these effects on there. It's just a ni nicer way to organize the layers. And I'm just going to double click on the layer 2 and just name it P for Pikachu. Next we're going to make a new layer and drag it below the Pikachu layer. And this is going to be the start of our gradient that we're going to be creating for the background. So I'm going to hit my eyedropper tool, just uh, pressing I on the keyboard. And we're going to grab this nice gold color on Pikachu's face. And I'm going to grab a nice, soft, 0% hardness brush that's a decent size. And I'm going to click and drag down the right side like that. And I'm going to click a little bit on the bottom uh, here and then maybe just a bit on the top like that. And then we're going to do a new layer. And then on this layer, I'm going to press D on my keyboard. And it's going to give me my black and white uh, canvases back here. Or color swatches, I mean. I'm going to press X to swap that so white is selected. I'm going to grab a brush. Make sure it's 0% hardness, and I'm going to click and drag down like that. And we're going to add just a bit of glow down here with our white. It's a little much, just like that, by clicking and dragging. And use the softness of the brush to kind of uh, hit the top and the bottom of the image just like that. So we got a kind of a glow going. I'm going to go ahead and change the opacity on this down to about, let's try 66. Looks pretty good. And so that's our gradient done. Really simple, easy to do. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add our text in. So this can be anything you want. You can add more than just your name. But for now, I'm just going to add my name. So I'm going to hit T on the keyboard, and I'm just going to put Kaler. I'm going to hit Command A to select the entire text. Go up here and grab my color selection. And let's go with a nice gold. So I'm going to use my eyedropper and grab that on Pikachu. That looks pretty good. I'm going to uh, select this color code and hit Command C to copy it. And click OK. And then click our check mark. Next, we need to create the rectangle that goes around our name. So I'm just going to grab a rectangle tool and click and drag around it. That looks good. So you'll see that we have a white rectangle. So to remove that, just click on the color here and uh, click this little white, uh, this white image with a red slash, and that takes it away. Then I'm going to grab our stroke. If I can click on that, and then I'm going to go over to our color panel, and then I'm going to paste in our code from our text and click OK. Next, I'm going to change the point to two, and then press Enter on my keyboard. And then we can just close this by clicking these double arrows here and press V for our selection tool. Next, I'm going to hit uh, Shift and click on my name. And that's going to grab both of these. So once again, just click on one layer and hold Shift and click on it. And it's going to grab both. Then if we go up here, you'll see we have these appear. So we're going to click on this one. And that's going to align it vertically, as you'll see there. And then we're going to click on this one. And that's going to align it horizontally. And so that makes sure this is looking good. Next, while these are both selected, I'm going to click a folder, and that'll just group them together, and we're just going to name it Name. With that done, I'm going to hit Command-T on the keyboard or click Show Transformation Controls, and we're just going to hold Shift and scale this up to our liking. That looks, that looks pretty good. 
So the next thing we're going to do is we have one last effect to do, and I'm going to use a custom brush for it. So it doesn't come with Photoshop, so you guys are not going to have this. So I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch. So this is the bonus I was telling you about. Let's do this. So I'm going to hit a new layer, and I'm going to press D on my keyboard to grab my uh, black and white color swatches again. I'm going to grab the pen tool by pressing P, and we're just going to make a cool little shard looking thing by just clicking randomly like this, kind of triangular shaped, and then connect it. And then I'm going to right click, fill path, make sure foreground is selected because we want that nice black there, and click OK. Next, I'm going to delete the path we made with the pen tool so it's just out of the way. And then I'm going to press V for our selection tool, and then hold Alt, and I'm going to click and drag, and it's going to duplicate this little shard we have. So next, I'm going to scale it and just make it look different than the other shard. So we just want to deform it as much as possible so it doesn't look like it's the same thing copied over and over. And we're just going to keep duplicating it, scaling it, rotating it, and just playing around with it, just trying to make it look as different as we can from the original. And that's looking good. You can also go back and let's see, let's duplicate the original. Uh, let's make it really tiny and then rotate it like that. And then drag it down here. And you're just going to do this over and over until you have uh, a shatter brush that you like. So once you're done with all of your little shapes, you're going to go to the top muscle layer and click it. Hold shift and click on the bottom layer. Right click and click merge layers. So now you have all of your little shard pieces on one layer. Hold command and click on the little thumbnail icon here. And then you'll see your marching ants and it selected all of them. Go up to edit and then define brush preset. Name it whatever you want. Click OK and then it'll be in your brush palette. So since I already have one created, I'm not going to do this. But that's how you guys make a custom brush. It's pretty cool. And that's what we're going to use for this effect. So let's do that now. I'm going to press Command D just to deselect all that. And I'm going to delete. Well, actually, yeah, let's delete this layer. On a new layer, I'm going to grab my brush. I'm going to go find my custom brush. It'll probably be down at the bottom. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go up here and click on the little brush folder icon. And that's going to open this up. Make sure you have shape dynamics ticked. And then change the, alt, uh, the angle jitter all the way to 100%. And all that's going to do is every time you click, you'll notice that my brush is rotating. And it just kind of gives us more of a random effect. And it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to Command Z all this. Take all that off. I'm going to close out this brush thing and open up my layer panel. And so I'm going to use my eyedropper and grab a nice gold again. And then go back to my brush. I'm actually going to click and Command Z until I get a nice rotation I like. And I'm going to click there. That looks good. And maybe there. And then let's see. Add some shards there. Oh, let's add some tiny ones in the corner. And some there. Nope. Uh, like that, maybe? Well, that's too much. Oh, there we go. That's a perfect rotation. That looks good. So now once we have that, I'm going to go over here on the left side of our banner. And I'm going to put a few small pieces of shards just over here, just a little bit, just to add some detail. Come on, give me a good rotation. That looks good. Like that. So that looks good. So with that done, I'm going to press V for my selection tool. I'm just going to name this, uh, let's do SHD for shatter. And I'm going to drag this. Um, let's go below our Pikachu layer. Then I'm going to take the fill to about hmm, 46%. You guys can play with that. If you want the shards to show a little bit more, a little bit less, just change the fill. I'm actually going to go a little bit lower than 46. That looks pretty good. Okay, so this is almost done. We're going to add one more effect to kind of make the gradient in the background pop just a little bit more. So I'm going to add a new layer and make sure it's below your Pikachu layer. And I'm going to grab a black brush, a nice soft brush, regular Photoshop brush, and I'm just going to click and drag down the edge like this. And the more black you want, the more this effect is going to be applied. It's not going to look like this, so don't worry. It's not going to look weird. And that's good. So I've added it on all the edges, really heavy on the sides. So that's looking good. And then I'm going to go over here and on my layer styles, I'm going to change this to an overlay. And you'll see that it applies this nice orange effect and gives us kind of a little pop on the gradients that we've worked with. So it adds a lot to the image. So that is a done image. If I was going to use this as my YouTube banner, I would probably put my YouTube icons down here. Maybe got to catch them all or something down there. <laughs> it's really cheesy, but just something on there uh, just to make it uh, more of a banner feel than just your name. But that's how to make this banner, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I do post three times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That's my new schedule. So I hope you guys 
Enjoy all the content on the channel. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.